right, the next style we're going to look at is a stout. And uh, this stout that we're looking at is the Espressway Cold Brew Coffee Stout from Two Roads Brewing in Stratford, Connecticut. Yeah. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, yeah so I've excited. had this one before, and Billy has not had yeah. this one before. And Billy is a coffee oh, connoisseur. So Love my coffee. So the fact that this has cold brewed coffee in it, and what is it? It's it, Ethiopian yeah, and Sumatra? Yeah, Ethiopian and Sumatra, cold brewed coffee in it, so I'm pumped to try this one. Yeah. So a stout, you know, typically uh, is a uh, much thicker, mm -hmm. full-bodied, English-style ale. And uh, use dark roasted malts to get that chocolate caramel coffee flavor. So that's why, you know, a lot of stouts will add coffee mm. to kind of enhance the coffee flavors that are already in yeah. the malt. Right. Um, so typically, you know, a stout will, a stout will have more uh, alcohol, but this one's only at six and a half percent. So, I right. mean, this is the it's strongest big. one we're doing today, but yeah. um, it's not crazy huge. Mm -hmm. um, this is, you know, stouts were something that would nourish people uh, you know, back in the day, like the, the English stouts were uh, what they would give like nursing mothers. Right. Um, you know, it was something very nourishing, thick, hearty kind of a thing. And, and uh, you know, so that's what we're what we're looking for in here. Again, not a crazy hoppy kind of a kind of a taste, although there are hops in there. Right. Um, so we're looking for more. It's going to be thicker, obviously. Thicker. It's a stout. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Maybe some sweetness to it, mm -hmm. although it's not a milk stout, which would have lact uh, lactose in it, milk sugar. Okay. This one doesn't have it, so um, any sweetness that we taste is going to come from the malt directly, okay. and um, and that coffee flavor. So adding the cold brewed coffee mm -hmm. to it is going to give it a nice nice finish. Yeah, you know. Um, so okay. I'm excited. To, yeah. I'm excited for you to try yeah, this. Yeah, man, I can't yeah. wait. Cannot so wait. Let, let's crack it open. Man. Yeah, as soon as we saw this one, I was like, oh, got to get it. So Two Roads Brewing is the largest brewery in Connecticut, and uh, period, yeah. like craft or otherwise. They are the largest brewery in Connecticut. Uh, they have a, a great number of, of their own beers, and um, I think we, we went to Two Roads. Yeah, we, uh, we we've been to Two Roads a couple times. couple times. Highly recommend it. Guys, it's a great brewery. If you've never been, definitely check it out. Beautiful tap room. Very friendly. Uh, you know, Phil Markowski is the, the owner and head brewer there, and he's very Look well known. Color. Look at that color. We actually talked to the Ooh. the yeast guy for a while. Yes. Right? Yeah, we went on the tour. Yeah. Yeah, great tour as well, guys. But man, look at that color. How oh, dark that man. is. Dark. Yeah. I love. Out. I love when the head is brownish. Yeah. You know, like not wow. a white. Head, it's brownish because you know it's going to taste rich. Yeah. And Look at that color. I know. Ooh, it's beautiful. And that smell. Totally getting uh, coffee. Guys, I wish you could smell this right now. <laughs> like Emerald. Emerald wow. used to say, I wish there was smell a vision so you could smell this. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. So you get the coffee on the front. Yes. And you get the roasted malt on the finish in the back. Yeah. Wow. Very good. It's not so, it's not thick. Like no, it's that's leaving what I was about to some, say. you know, if I look at the glass, it's leaving some right. lacing on the glass a little mm -hmm. bit. That's what I was going to say like for a stout, you know, normally I would I would like wait for that thickness, but yeah. again, it's not. It doesn't have the texture of like Guinness no, or something. No, not at all. There's a lot of roasty, Good. roasted flavor, roasted malt flavors. Mm -hmm. I love that coffee, coffee taste to it. Oh, yeah. like that cold brew. If you ever had a cold brew, you know, coffee before, you definitely get that when you first, you know, take it, your first sip of this. Very, very good. Yeah. I get a little bit of chocolate too. Mm -hmm. Not much. Not a the lot. The coffee is the most. Not a lot. The most. Yeah. Uh, the coffee stands out prominent. the most, which I like. Yeah. But definitely a good. I would say like stouts are more like we had discussed this before. More of a like winter type beer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I, I'm perfectly fine drinking this in May. Right yeah. Now. And because it's not it's not as heavy. Thick and overbearing yeah. and heavy. Right. I agree. I definitely agree. And again, I love that color. Yeah. That color. Beautiful is just color. Amazing. Beautiful color to the head. Mm -hmm. I mean just that 
brown head. Yeah, yeah. like if it's white, you think ah, uh, there's not much to this, but it's so. No, it's very good. Hard. So guys, this is two roads. Man, this is I just can't stop saying like, how good this is, man. <laughs> This is some old ass stout we're gonna try. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving stout. <laughs> it's May. Yeah, that's great.